Hey everyone, my name is Amber. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another reaction video <clears throat> on the September 11th, the um, 19th year anniversary of the Twin Tower attacks. Um, we're choosing a couple songs that we feel apply to this time. Um, we're just thinking about everyone that might have lost somebody on that day. Uh, I remember it. it was the first major news event. I remember hearing about as a kid. I was a freshman in high school. Yeah, so or we was were. I. We so. were freshmen in high school. I mean, I was, let's see, I was in my math class when um, our TV, our principals turned on the TV. I believe I was in math class as well, first period. Um, we had a teacher come in and say um, a plane hit the World Trade Center. I didn't know where the World Trade Centers were at the time. Growing up in around Chicago, not familiar with New York very much, so I didn't know what that was and found out later and it was on the news all day at school, so just thinking about everyone that lost their lives on that day. And these songs, while not directly what most people would consider patriotic, we feel kind of are. And we wish that the government would you know, do something about this. So let's get into it without saying much more. Um, you can tell we're choosing our words very precisely here because it is a touchy subject. I understand a lot of people may have lost someone. So let's just get into it. This is System of a Downs. Boom. Pause it there for a moment. That is actually now an underestimation for how many children die from starvation. Yeah, I was going to say that doesn't hour. seem accurate. Not anymore. It was accurate back then. Yeah, back then. But even, I mean, that's still crazy. And I think that it's really important to point this out because we need to fund. We create more than enough food in this world to feed everybody so it's just a matter of it's not profitable to take it to these places where people can't afford um the food so and we're spending billions on killing children in another country and especially in countries that had no part in the september 11th um attack so what do you think of the song so far, though? I mean, like, musically and well, I mean, this is very simplistic and it is. It's really more about the message because it's not. Yeah, I was gonna say this one really isn't meant to have like complicated vocals and yeah, the, the message pretty much slaps you in the face. It's just more of a direct, you know, because he, he's doing like more of the uh, talk singing. I mm -hmm. mean, and you know, it's a uh, very obviously. This is just meant to, again, give a message. So. Yeah, just slap you in the face with the message. Basically, yeah. So, I mean, but I will say this message is very, like, in your face, honest. Like, I mean, look at the numbers. I mean, obviously now it's different, but a lot different. But Yeah. But, I mean, ju even this uh, during that time is just so bad. Like, it's 
just messed and up. I know this is going to seem a little tasteless to say on this day, but we have lost more people during this pandemic than we lost on 9-11. Let that sink in. More people have died since the beginning of this pandemic just a couple months ago and that died. We're losing people every day to about the numbers that we lost on that day. So please wear your mask. Please wash your hands. Follow social distancing. Let's just continue. Very simplistic, very straightforward song, but it's a very important song. I will say that the um, the guitar in the background like really gives it that extra like yeah. That little mini solo mm. helped break it up a little bit. Yeah, and then just having like the guitar in the back, like I don't know, I just like I because they're good. I mean, they're good. So they are. I mean, obviously this one, and he did, like, obviously get more singy towards the end, but, like, this isn't really, I'm not going to judge this one based on the song. I'm going to give this one a nine based on the message. Yeah, definitely a nine based on the message, especially. Um, it's just, what happened that day was horrible. Neither of us believe it's an inside job. So, just... We had people from another country mad at us for being over there in the area messing around. So that's what happened. And it wasn't Iraq, it was not Afghanistan that they really came from. It was Saudi Arabia. And I know we're gonna lose, might lose subscribers over our messaging here, but we are against war, we're against all that stuff. Like, just get out of the Middle East. Like, only be, do what they will ask. Stop selling weapons to Saudi Arabia so they can bomb children in Yemen. Like, we need to stop making it easier for these countries to kill other people. Especially yeah. little children. Because it's just sad to see that all the innocent people that died. I mean, it's just... I mean, how would you all feel if some random country decided to come over and invade us? You guys would be all up in arms demanding, you know... You guys would be doing exactly what the uh, terrorists are doing over there. Fighting back, trying to get these people out of your country. We are an occupying force. We destabilize countries. We need to stop this shit. I feel we could be a good country. We can set an example. We used to be better. I mean, we've never been a great country, but we need to just stop these wars. So... I know it's gonna. A lot of you are probably gonna be write us angry comments or unsub or whatever, but whatever. I feel it was important to get this out. Yeah, I mean, just be respectful in the comments. That's all I'm gonna say. Yes, we will block anyone that's being disrespectful. Nothing about 9/11 being an inside job or anything like that. Any of that stuff will be blocked, and because we're not here for that. So, well, until next time. Thinking of all that we lost on this day, 19 years ago. Till next time. Bye. Bye.